Today, we'll be looking at the AMVR facial interface that I've been waiting ages for and comparing it to the best from VR Cover. Hello and welcome back to the VR Cauldron, the channel that aims to bring you helpful and entertaining Quest and VR content. If that sounds good to you, then hit that subscribe button to join the great community. You can leave anytime you like. Don't forget you can get more info from our Discord server, and if you want to see more VR Cauldron in between videos, then be sure to check out the Instagram, links to those below. So, facial interfaces. With a lot of people unhappy with the scratchiness of the stock spongy facial interface, many people have been hoping to switch it out for something a little nicer. I personally have no problems with it, and I use the larger version from the Fit Pack, which is perfect for my glasses which I do wear a lot still. However, if you do any form of exercise using your Quest, you'll quickly find that the sponge soaks up all the sweat and quickly leaves it in a sweaty, horrible mess. Of course, you can fix this by getting a silicone cover that stops sweat getting to your Quest, but it absorbs absolutely nothing. You quickly get sweat dripping all down your face. Enter AMVR and VR Cover, who have both made facial interfaces that have attachable foam covered with PU leather, which helps a lot when exercising. The material feels nice and you can wipe the sweat off it. I've already looked at one from VR Cover and it is very nice. So why buy the AMVR version? VR Cover, they're the best ones, right? Well, they are sold out a lot. That must be a good sign, of course. But if you can't get your favored VR Cover, maybe this AMVR one can fulfill your needs so let's take a look in we go right here we have the AMVR facial interface that's finally come after all this time light blocker for the nose which I'll try and put on the right way more lens protectors these seem to come with everything these days very important though and then we've got the actual interface quite uh, quite flexible which is good I think not sure why it's good but it is good and then what we got in here? So in that bag we've got three different things, foams. We've got this one that's branded AMVR, which is a thin one, and then we got a thicker one there. I used to go with the thin ones, but we'll see. And then these two. We'll see what we can do with these shortly. So according to the instructions, the two things here, these are side wedges. So I guess they can go on there like that and like that. And then one of these could go over the top, pushing them further out and offering a bit more comfort around the sides. Interesting. I doubt I'd need that, but you never know. And many people, I'm sure, would see the benefits in that. Now, immediately, what I really like about this one and what I like from the pictures is how smooth that is. That looks pleasing. Whereas the VR cover ones, they're good interfaces, but for me personally, I can't stand the way it's all creased around there. It just looks ugly. This looks really nice. However, how it looks is uh, not really that important and it's all about how it feels so we'll be testing these out well let's actually put it on the quest first let's remove the other one let's put this one on let's not forget it's got those side bits on that shouldn't need but there we go let's let's remove those so this is the thin pad And there we go. So one of the important tests with these is because I use the original facial interface from the Fit Pack, so not the original, this is the larger fit one, which allows my glasses to fit inside it because they don't go into the normal stock um, Oculus Quest 2 one very well. So I need them to fit into there. Look how nice that looks. That looks so good. But like I say, looks on everything. So, right, my glasses fit. But this pad is so thin that I am really, really close to my lens bumpers. So to be fair, my lens bumpers push out a bit in order to protect the lenses. But without that, I would probably be touching the lenses because it's really close. I really like it though. It's not amazing with glasses, but then I am using a halo strap so I can sort of keep them away a bit. But it's, it's comfortable. I like the way it feels on my face. I am obviously going to test this out properly soon, but um, the initial impressions are that this is a good facial interface. Let's try the thicker one. 
Okay, I'm wearing the thick pad now. Feels comfortable. Glasses feel fine. Glasses fit. Not bad. You can see the way it looks inside. There, it just looks so much like cleaner. I like it. You can see the PU leather. Well, you might, you might be able to see the PU leather materials that kind of spot or dimpled effect, which is exactly the same as the uh, the PU leather on the halo strap as well. The nose piece actually attaches around the back of the interface, so not from the front. You have to put it around the back, and there's these two little plastic poles, and on these. There's uh, two little holes, so that will go in one and in the other, like so. There we go, and that little flap sticks over the front. There we go, so that's on, light blocker, we'll test that out. And then you might notice these kind of jaggedy bits, which are basically meant to be vents so hopefully whilst exercising they're going to let air flow through there and maybe prevent steaming up so uh, let's test the light blocker right I've got the nose blocker well the, no the light blocker installed and wow I can barely see anything now usually I've got the thickest pad on and usually that's the one where you need it um, when I've got the fit pack the fit pack comes with a light blocker that actually attaches to the lenses but I found that it, because it was a wider fit I could get closer in and I didn't even need it and when you put them on you could still see the floor anyway uh, and without it you could still see the floor but it was always the same amount it didn't really help whereas this one I literally I really have to stare in order to see my t-shirt so that these are impressive now I actually personally like to be able to look down and see the real world but some people don't and if you don't these appear to be really really good right I'm going to test them out with a smaller facial foam right so I've got the smaller one on just how good how good does that look that looks so cool I really like the way this one looks and I think I might be using this as my uh, my go-to facial interface from now on because I was still using I was still using the uh, that one even after having the VR cover one, I was still going back to this one just because it fits so well. It's a really good fit. I know a lot of people don't like the sponge on these though. So if you don't like the sponge on these and you need the PU lever, your best two choices are VR cover and AM VR. And so far, I am extremely impressed. And yeah, same as before, I'm looking down, I could just about, like normal use, you just, I don't know, there's a, there's, I can see a little tiny, tiny, tiny little gap, but very 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 impressive excellent the this is for cyber shoes if anyone's wondering usually someone's wondering right like it right okay now i am going to do some exercise after my son stops doing his evil laugh i just ripped this bag open and uh the other ends just held together with a little tiny bit of sand tape <laughs> Right, I've just done five fights in endurance, and you can see I, I'm definitely sweating. So let's have a look at the uh, facial interface. Right, you can see. Well, can you see? It's hard to see on the video. Actually, there is definitely sweat on there. But uh, 
some of it, I think because of that, there's this tiny, tiny hole, so some of it is going to go inside. A lot of it comes off, but you can wipe it, and obviously you can you can submerge it if you want. But like I found with um, a Kiwi Design one I've had, some of it's going to stay in, so you're going to want to properly give it a wash every now and again. But it felt good, felt comfortable. Um, actually, these weren't too much of a I could feel them, but they weren't properly digging into me. That can all depend on how tight you have it. But for exercise, these have performed well. Uh, if you don't want to have to worry about submerging things every now and again to, uh, to get rid of the smell, then you might want to just use your silicone ones that will stop literally all the sweat from getting in. So let's just have a comparison with the, the VR cover foams and see how they compare. Firstly, let me show you what I mean by the way they look when they're installed. So here we've got the thinner of the VR cover foams. And it's those creases there that aren't a problem. Like, it doesn't affect comfort or anything like that. I just feel it just doesn't look as clean as that does. I just think that looks really, really good. And even with the thicker one on, we did, we still didn't get these creases. But let's have, a, let's have a comparison of how thick everything is. So with the VR cover blue one next to the AMVR orange and black one, you can see that the blue one, VR cover, is one piece of plastic that is fairly, fairly soft. It, I'm holding this from my hand, so I've only got one hand. This can, you know, it can flex a bit like that. Whereas this one is plastic at the front and then it's stuck on to a rubbery material. Now, obviously that rubber doesn't actually hit your face. So in terms of comfort, I doubt it makes any sort of difference, but uh, that's just a different way of doing things, I suppose. I do wonder if, if that's gonna come apart because, you know, how do you attach that to that? Maybe just glue, but it seems pretty solid at the moment. And, uh, and you know, why would it come apart? Maybe just over time because that's not the kind of damage that you're going to do to these kind of things. Nice little logo at the front. AMVR, very nice. Now the thickness of the pads is where there's a massive, massive difference. Uh, this is the thicker VR cover pad. Look how thick that is. And then there's the thinner VR cover pad. And this is the thick AMVR pad, which is really quite thin and a lot thinner than the thinner VR cover pad. Let's just put those next to each other. Like I say, I've only got one hand. See, it's like that one's like nearly twice as thick, and that's the thinner one. And then the thin one of these, it's tiny. And personally, I, I find the thin one to be as comfortable as I need it. But so it's all going to come down to a bit of a preference. If for whatever reason, maybe people with a larger face, sorry, a smaller face. Would need more padding so if you need more if you feel like you need more padding then go for that however remember they do compress so you know even though it's really thick padding it's still going to go down to a, a really thin width and obviously the amvr do come with these things that will go underneath and will push it out even more and what can it do is if you've got a small face and you find you're getting light coming through the sides you can push those in so it keeps it a bit more curved and stops some of the light getting out in terms of the light blockers, they both attach in different ways. Uh, the VR cover one attaches to the front, so you can just kind of, so you can pull it off from the front like that. Uh, as I said earlier, the AMVR one actually attaches from the back, which does actually mean that when this is attached to the Quest, it's really, really secure and actually hard to get off. Not that this is insecure, I've had no problems with it falling off or anything like that. So that all depends on what do you want. Do you want to be able to just pull it off without having to take the interface off? Or do you want to have it so it's actually going to be really hard for it to fall off and you'll have to take the interface off in order to get it off? That is obviously, again, your preference. I forgot to mention in the video that my lenses did not steam up when boxing. I did five fights on endurance and they seemed absolutely fine. And considering the interface lets your eyes get so close to the lenses, that is some achievement. Whether that's because of the vents though, I'm not really sure. So which one's the best? Am I going to get stuck on the fence since they were both provided free? Well, they are both great in terms of materials. They're both top notch. They're of a similar price and they both come with sizing options. I feel the AMVR interface will be more problematic if you're a glasses wearer and especially if you use the lens bumpers like mine. Those red and blue things I have on my lenses.
If you really tighten the strap, then they can dig into your FOD a bit, but it also did that on the VR cover interface. This isn't really a problem with the stock interface, and that's because these aftermarket ones are so soft and squidgy, in a good way. The VR cover interface comes in a wide variety of colours, so there's more customization options, but I love the way the AM VR cover looks on the Quest with its awesome clean lines and also the two-tone colouring. In terms of sweat protection, if sponge is zero and silicone is 10, I'd say AM VR is about seven, and VR cover about nine. Reason being that the AM VR cover has tiny holes similar to a Kiwi design cover I use on my Quest 1. This makes the material a little more breathable on the face, which I actually like, but over time sweat will get into it and it will need a wash. The VR cover interface is less breathable, so more sweat runs down your face, but it's more sweat resistant, so it all depends on which you prefer. So which one am I going to wear? Actually, I think I'm going to stick with the foam and the fit pack for now. They're just a lot more comfortable with my glasses because they don't get pushed against the lens bumpers. I do have smaller lens bumpers in the pack though so I might give those a whirl. However at some point I am going to get prescription lenses and once I do that I think then I'll switch over to the AMVR cover simply because it looks so good. But like I said, they're both really great, and that choice is just me being picky because I want my Quest to look really good, he says with a stupid Velcro pad on the front of it. So what do you think? Maybe you quite like the stock interface, or you use one from the Fit Pack like me. Let us know in the comments, and of course, there are links to both of these products below. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, and if you want to stick around for the VR information and entertainment, then be sure to subscribe. And if you can't get enough of the cauldron and would like to see previews of the VR stuff I'm testing and other random stuff, then come and find us on Instagram. I've been Al. Thanks Thanks for watching the VR Cauldron. Take care of yourselves and I hope to see you next time. See ya!